hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to update odoo instance with its latest code so it's already always good to update our odoo instance with its latest code like there will be different bug fixing and new new feature will be introduced in odoo system so it's good to keep our system up to date with the latest commit and features so let's see how we can update the odoo instance so currently this is odoo 15 community edition that i'm running using pycharm so this i think i have downloaded before one week or two weeks so let's see how we can pull its latest code suppose if you check the odoo repository you can see there will be new new commits new new bug fixes will be coming each and every day so suppose if you encounter some issues or if you feel some functionalities is, is there not in your system what you can do is that simply update your odoo instance with its latest code then you will be receiving the latest functionalities inside your database so here what i will do is that here i have configured my odoo instance you can see this is my odoo source code so i have already cloned it using the vcs in the pycharm so simply i can update or simply i can pull the latest code by clicking you can see this is the jit code jit and if i click on repository you have the pull option here so if i click on pull you can see i am pulling from my remote that is github slash odoo odoo dot jit and if i click on pull you can see jit pull failed because currently there is no internet connection in this laptop so let me open my internet connection so that jit pull will be succeeding so let me activate the connection so let me activate the connection so simply if you are doing if you don't have pycharm you can just use jit push command jit pull you have to enter the repository come here so jit pull or you can manually replace the latest code so manually replacing is not a recommended method always like keep your odoo source code like a clone or from its parent repository so simply i'll i think the net is activated so if i go to jit repository pull still failing so let me check the connection again so let me give me so a couple of minutes let me app open the internet connection so the connection will be coming yeah it's get connected so right now if i pull jit repository and if i pull you can see pulling changes from origin so that is we are fetching the latest code from the github you can see there are this much changes that is odoo updated for 16 items so here you can see odoo changed this much files and you can see they have created 35 lines that is account edi hr holidays like new new files has been created and they have deleted 10 files hr holidays this widget has been removed and so you can see total for this much changes has been happened that is 461 item so right now i have pulled the latest changes into my instance and if i try to pull again jit repository and if i try to pull again you can see the message pulling changes from origin you can see there is nothing to pull because the system is up to date with the latest odoo 15 source code so once you pull the latest code just restart the service and upgrade the module sometime right now once you pull the system itself will not be accessible so what in that case what you can do you can upgrade the module from the terminal so as right now it is accessible from the ui i'll come here and i'll upgrade the base module so this is how the updating process should be first you have to fetch the latest code from the server then upgrade the base module in your odoo database so this will make your system up to date with the latest code so right now as i have configured with pycharm i have pulled it from here jit repository pull and if it, you are not doing from the pycharm you can just open the terminal and you can enter jit pull enter the path to odoo repository then specify the version and it will get pulled your repository so if you are not configured with github just make sure that try to configure github and pull or every time you have to manually replace full modules with the manually downloaded ones so it is recommended to configure with github so you can see the update is done now i'll be receiving 
the latest functionality and i will be receiving all the bug fix done by oru till today so this is how you can update your oru instance with the latest code so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you